And the situation here is, this is the uh, 26th of November turn, and the UN has already... Okay, so that was a barrage, and let's see if I have any other barrages here. And we're going to do one more. I, I don't think you need to do any more barrages, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> these two guys here in... 2404 and 2305. Bob has joined us. Hi. We're going to go ahead and barrage this unit here. It's 22, so it's going to be on the same column as before, 17 to 24. It's going to cost me 3T. So we'll take it out of this guy here. Two. We're sitting in Firing close both terrain of those there. Guns, so right? the, yeah. So it's going to be the same thing as before. We're going to get two. Actually, here we're only going to get one. Sh nope, two shifts because this three-step unit has taken two losses. So he's basically a single regiment in size. So again, we're on the eight to eleven and swing and a miss. So that is the end of the barrage phase. So now we'll go ahead and do just straight attack. So we're just going to start in the west and work our way across here. First attack is going to be on this regiment here. Okay, if you guys will notice, he's he can't trace supply to anyone. He can't get any supplies thrown to him. So he's going to use his internal... Uh, Find the marker here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with the 149th and the 148th. And on attacking, you pay 1T per step. And these guys have six steps between them, so it's going to cost me one and a half SP, and what they're going to do is they're going to get their supply. Sorry to interrupt, why couldn't he trace along the rail line? Is it interdicted by the unit in 1201? Exactly. Yeah, 150th yep. Division Zone of Control. 1235. Got me cut off there. Yep. So we're going to draw our attack supply, which is uh, 6T from this hex here. You can do supply two ways. You can draw back to the supply, the unit to the supply dump, or you can have the headquarters throw it forward. In this case it's easier for, well, it just makes more sense for these units to just draw it directly from there. So that's what they're going to do. So that's going to cost me one and a half SP. Right, and they could actually grab those SPs and use them, even if there wasn't a headquarter there. If they so we've paid our supply. Bill has paid his supply. So what we do now yeah. is we go ahead and roll for surprise again. And we have uh, each have ARs of three. And since there's multiple units attacking, if they had different ARs, I would get to pick which AR to use. The same if Bill had multiple units in that hex defending, he would be able to pick whatever AR he wanted to use for the battle. And here we're three and three, so we're even, so it's going to be... Go ahead, Bill. So generally, you'll use your highest AR guy, but not always. There might be cases where you don't... The high AR guy will also be the first one that has to die if there's a loss, and there might be a case here and there where you wouldn't want to... Generally, the highest AR is the one you use. So on our surprise roll here, it's just a straight roll since we're both three, so I'll go ahead and roll that. And we roll the four. Oh, and behold, I have one surprise. Yeah. Do I roll the, want me to roll the D6? Is, yeah, go ahead. So what had happened, I was attacking at 24 to 8, or 3 to 1, in close terrain, because of the village. So what we do is we look at the chart at 3 to 1, and Bill rolled a 2 for for the 
with the surprise, the number of shifts after the surprise, so it shifts two columns to the left, so I'm going to be rolling on the one-to-one -one under close. And again, this is a straight roll since the ARs were even. So seven. So again, I have an AL1, O1, D01. So in this case, I have to take a loss for sure. That the AL1 is, you, know, you just take it, there's nothing you can do. No options there. So I'll go ahead and have this guy take a loss. Now the other guy, I can take an option by retreating everybody or I can take another step loss. In this case I'm going to take another step loss, put it on the other division. What this does is it forces Bill to take his option. Tacker takes his option as a loss and the defender has to take his option. If he had retreated, um, I would not have had to do anything. I could have ignored my option. but. In this case, my guy is going to go to the dead pile because he's a step unit. He has no place to retreat because I can't lock hex side, can I? You can actually retreat there. It's only if you're DG that you lose a step. Can it, I wasn't sure if I could attack across that blue, uh, it's just a river or something. Because of the rail line. Well, there's a rail line that goes across it. Yeah, so you're good there. Since he retreated, I can go ahead and advance into that hex, and I will go ahead and do that with both you. So you took the hex, but it was pretty bloody, losing, costing you two steps. Lucky I survived. Okay, so I'm clear on that. You could ret re supply was blocked because of the zone of control, the 150th, but your line of retreat there was no zone of control blocking a line of retreat. Yeah, they don't zone block. Zone of control won't block. Yeah, it won't block the line of retreat. The only effect it has is if your unit is disorganized and you retreat into a zone of control, then you have to lose a step. But since he wasn't disorganized, he's free to retreat through there. It's interesting having to always think in terms of supply. I mean, it makes perfect sense with the game, but it's kind of different. Yeah, it's a little different. That's it's for sure. Fun, though. It's a lot of the appeal of the system. At least for yeah, me, and it's once a you l large draw of it. You know, it takes a little while to get familiar with this, but once you've familiarized yourself with it, it, it becomes pretty intuitive, like any other game that you that you that you learn. And um, so many nuances to it. it. There's there's just a lot you can do, and it's very interesting. really shows why you can't attack with every single unit every turn like you could be. So for the next step I'm going to attack the uh, 9th Regiment of the 2nd Infantry Division here. That's the green marker on them, that hex 2105, and I'm going to attack with both of my divisions here. The 118th and the 119th. The 119th has already taken one step loss, so I'm only going to have to pay for five steps in this case. that one and reducing this one all the way back to Pyongyang with the headquarters and then mouse over that 25 25th infantry um, marker look what's that bill mouse over that 25 5th infantry marker that's right next to the hex you're attacking look at that counter Oh yeah, it's weird looking. That one. But he drew it by hand. Okay, so you went ahead and paid, so we're good there? Yep. Okay. So I'm attacking here. I have, since this uh, 119th has lost a step, he's going to attack at proportional strength. So his attack strength in this case is an 8. So with his 8 and the 12 from the 118th, we're attacking 20 to 10, 2 to 1. And we're in close terrain because of the low hills in that hex. So again, we're going to roll for surprise. This time I have an AR advantage, 4 to 3. I'm going to pick the unit that already ha that has not lost a step yet to be the one who's leading with the AR. So surprise roll again. <laughs> Turns out to be a surprise for 
of the UN. Prize, sir, prize, a sir, single prize. Dice. So again, I was two to one in close, and I'm going to go all the way down to one to two in close. I'm going to roll the die, and I get to still get to add one for the AR difference. And there we have an AL101. So there's no nothing bad happening to the defenders in this case at all. So I'm going to have the guy who led. He takes the first step loss, and since I don't want to retreat everybody, take a second step loss. Well, I'll tell you, this Vassal Die Roller is just kicking ass tonight, isn't it? Usually does. So I'm going to have one more attack along this line just to get things moving here. My last attack is going to be the 113th Division here, attacking this Breakdown Regiment. Again, that's going to cost me 3T because that's the size of the unit in steps. We're just going to draw that from here. And Bill will go ahead and pay for his defense. Stay out of the Korean headquarters over here. Yeah. Are we all good? Yeah. So the attack here is 12 to 3. It's going to be 4 to 1 and close. We're going to roll for surprise first. In this case, I have a 4 to his 2, so we get to add 2 to the surprise roll. So 6 and 8 is nothing, so this is going to be a straight 4 to 1 and close, plus 2 for the AR. In this case, I roll a 9. So here I have an AO1 DL101 which means I have to have an option I can take if I want. I can retreat or take a step loss. In this case, since I want to keep going forward, I'm just going to take the step loss. And Bill's unit on the DL-101 is destroyed. My guy will advance up. Oops. Just run a, we're just going to run a single attack up here by the Chosen Reservoir in the 7th Infantry. And we're just going to burn through supply here. We're going to go all six steps of these two divisions, 79th and the 81st. One and a half SP. And Bill will pay for his defense. Paying out of the one SP that I had in uh, A3410 underneath the Marine. Okay, so we'll go ahead and attack here again. We're going to roll for surprise first. But I'm going to have, uh, have my three AR unit, the 79th Division provide his or even. So the surprise roll here is a 9. Not enough to do anything. So I'm attacking here 24 to 9, which is 3 to 1. And That's another thing. If you guys aren't own. familiar with the rounding in OCS on the combat results. Yeah, 2.5 and up is a 3. So it's just like normal rounding. There's no rounding in def in uh, rounding in the defender's favor in the system. So you got a 3 to 1 in the mountains, and in the mountains again if we look at the terrain chart, the mountains are very close, so we're going to go use a, a different line on the combat table this time. So 3 to 1 very close, this is going to be an even roll, and a roll to 6. So it's an AL101 DO1. So I'm going to have both of my guys take a loss. We'll force Bill to take his option. I have to take my option, and my options are pretty simple. I either retreat or I die, so I'm gonna I'm gonna retreat. All right. And since my guys didn't retreat and he left, I can go ahead and advance in. 